okay? Incoming energy, change is coming. We already knew that for a lot of people. Change is coming with the Two of Pentacles. Trying to become unstuck and unchained from something. Don't want to obsess. You want to become, like I said, unstuck. What is crossing it? Um, you or um, uh, messages, you know, that are straightforward. Maybe you're waiting for messages to come in. Prince of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. And that's within the next seven to ten days you'll be trying to do this. And it, we'll go on. We'll go further in. What is crowning you or the goal is competition. There's a lot of competition out there with the five of wands. It's also embattlements. Um, maybe you're argument, arguing. Maybe you're going for something. Maybe you're trying to stand up for yourself. But it's causing some kind of um, back and forth type energy, Okay. Foundation, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is in reverse, okay? This is energies that are all over the place. It is a, likely, a, you know, an air sign. It could be your energy. But it's like things are just all over the place right now, okay? And change is coming. That's probably why, because all the, what's been going on in the world. You feel a little trapped and stuck with the Eight of Swords, like you can't get out of something. I'm going to clarify these and make change the story up. But give me, you got wants and desires that are coming up. You've got motivation, so in the near future or the next few weeks, you're going to get very, very motivated to what you're wanting to do and go for. And we'll find out what's going on. It also could be that you're desiring a certain individual or they're desiring you. So we shall say, okay, uh, possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the four of pentacles. It's saying don't hold back too much on a situation. Maybe some of you um, decided to hold back from life in general or finances or maybe you're trying to save a lot. Maybe you need to spend on something you need um, right now, okay? What is coming towards you? The outside environment, balance, temperance, work. Things are going to work out, okay? That's what's coming in, okay? Temperance, balance, like I said. Your hopes and fears, a final decision or an ending will not come with the eon in reverse. That's what you're fearing. In the end, you're going to still be worried, so try to come out of worry. That's the main energy I'm seeing for everybody. This does not have to be, okay? Realize that balance is coming and to overcome worry because you're still worrying. You're motivated. Use that motivation. You know, don't hold back too much, but realize that there are balancing energies, like I said, coming in. I'm going to clarify, but you can change this up. you got to get rid of the mindset of worry. You're afraid of competition. You're afraid things are all over the place. You're kind of a little bit stuck in some way. That has to do with finances, but just realize that things that are coming in are going to um, make it an even keel in a little while. Let's go back to the beginning. You feeling like you need to unchain yourself from something? You feel like maybe you're stuck. Maybe some of you are obsessing. Maybe you don't want to obsess. So I need two cards for the subject at hand for Aquarius, please. Yeah, something to do with the home life. Maybe you're fearing home life. Um, that is not complete or happy and you're wanting your ships to come in and it possibly could come in, okay, with the three of wands. The energy is there, so therefore use it, okay? So get yourself motivated. Do not be stuck in worry. That's what it's saying. What is crowning you or the goal? Maybe you're having some strife, some arguments, but it also be, be competition with the five of wands. I need two cards, please. Two cards. High priestess, you're you're not sure of your intuition, and there's that four of pentacles, having to spend more money, okay? Don't worry about spending the money. Spend it where you need it, okay? Don't be worried about feeling left out or not having enough, okay? That's what you're going to be fearing this whole time. Foundation is the Knight of Swords in reverse now. I know why you're in reverse, but I need two cards for the foundation to tell us more. You need to make a decision. You don't know which way to go. And it could involve a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, but not necessarily. It could be that you're wanting uh, positive things of the emotional nature to come in, things that you like, love, and cherish. But you need to make a decision. You're having trouble making up your mind, possibly, which way to go. In the past, you felt trapped, and there's a lot of interference in your life, and it is for a lot of people right now. So <clears throat> the Eight of Swords... Two cards, please, for Aquarius in the past position. I will give a love reading, mini love reading at the end. So I need two cards for the Eight of Swords, though, for Aquarius in the past position. Be unstuck. Don't know if you can make adjustments. 
because change is coming. Change has come. It has come with the Two of Pentacles. Again, change has come. Near future is the last card. And I told you what that's about, but I need two more cards to know exactly which way it's going. So for Aquarius, I need two cards for the last card for the near future, you know. Could have something to do with the Queen of or not, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Disc on this on this deck. But it's about um Maybe you're dealing with an earth sign, you know, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Not necessarily, though. I'm seeing it more as, you know, maybe Taurus energy I'm feeling for some of you. But it's about becoming more practical and um, uh, financial independence. It could be, uh, I think it's Capricorn, maybe. I'm feeling a very earthy energy around you. Someone that could possibly help you um, gain your desire. Someone's going to help you um, stay on the even keel here. Could, like I said, have to do with earth sign or someone very practical and mature and attractive in a certain, you know, I can't explain it, um, safely, you know, safe, attractive way. You know, they're very safe looking, but attractive at the same time. Very inviting. There I go, you know, very inviting type person. And it can be male or female. We're not just going towards one, you know, we go either male or female with these cards, not just one or the other. But I need another card for this, for the near future, for Aquarius. So maybe this person is desiring to help you or you're desiring to, yes, they are desiring to help you and they will. Ace of Cups. But you need to come out of that worry. You're still going to be worried in the end. But, you know, all of us are. Realize that, like I said, balance is coming. And a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. You may be spending more money. Okay, you may have to. Um, you may not be able to hold back. And maybe you want to. But um, four pentacles. In reverse, I need two cards for Aquarius, please. There you are again, Knight of Swords in reverse. You will come out of um, feeling like you, ruined. You will come out of feeling ruined. You will come out of ruined. But at the time, it's just got you a little messed up with everything, all the changes we're having. Just realize that it's going to get better for a lot of people. Maybe not for all, but for a lot of you, okay? Outside influences, the art card is temperance, balance, okay? Coming towards you. So the art card, I need two cards, please. Why is balance coming? What's causing the fact that balance needs to come for Aquarius? Ace of Swords. Yeah, strength is coming, okay? Strength is coming. You're going to hear something. Some people may feel it's unfair, but it's not. It's going to get balanced. You may not trust what you're going to hear also, but it is going to bring in strength. So you're going to hear something that's going to be bring you balance and strength, but you may not trust it at first. I do feel a lot of worry here. So let's go to the hopes and fears, okay? You're afraid that things will end, maybe. Maybe you're afraid of final decisions. Maybe you're afraid you won't make a final decision. All kind of things. I need two cards for the Aeon. Two cards, please, for Aquarius. The Hermit in reverse. You don't want to be tied down. You don't like arguments. You don't like fighting for life, you know, for your life and situations that you need. You you may feel defeated, okay? But don't. Don't. Realize that things are going to be improving in the future, okay? This is not all doom and gloom. I don't want you to think that way because that's what you are doing. So the Five of Pentacles, as the final outcome, I need two cards, please, for Aquarius. They're worried. That's the worry card. If you want to know, say it says worry. Worry, worry, worry. You're worried. So get out of worry because things are going to be uh, become more in an even keel. It may take some time, but it is coming. And you've got to let that, you know, go so you don't stress yourself out. Because I see a lot of stress, but I also see you coming out of ruin later on, even though you may not feel so, okay, like you are. So the Five of Pentacles as the outcome. I need two cards, please, as the final outcome, please. The lover situation, you're worried about a lover also. And again, you're worried. Oh, get out of that. You are so worried. You do come out of feeling trapped, though. But you, you feel worried. And it's over a lover situation. It's not necessary. I mean, I understand that change is coming. And, and the play, and the world is really yuck right now. And I, I'm getting it in all the readings in the beginning. But it looks like most of you are doing okay. Okay? No, I mean, there's going to be a few here and there that aren't. But I feel like a lot of you are going to be okay. That you're going to get news even though you don't believe in it, no, even though you're not trusting things anymore, the news you're going to be hearing, the balance you're going to be, uh, that's going to be coming in will bring, 
giving you more strength and energy. And you got people that are willing to help you. They're going to give you this Ace of Cups. But you're worried about a lover situation or partnerships, whatever. And it's got you just, you know, caught up all in your head, you know. I'm going to give you a love reading, a mini one. I'll be right back. Let me clean this up. Hello, Aquarius. This is your um, mid-March or 7 to 10 days, um, hopefully, starting. The energies start there. They don't end there, okay? For uh, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, new energies, positive energies for Aquarius for about mid-March. With helpful, and there's helpful people. I did see that someone's helping you, someone of the Earth sign. I want to clarify with um, Oracle cards. Just said something's going to change within the next few months, so be on your toes, okay? And you got helpful people around you. Could be a lover situation, so don't back off from them, but I need three cards. That's all it's telling me so far. From the Psychic Tarot. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising for starting mid. Let us know what's going on here. It doesn't really tell us much. It just says the next three months. Next few months. Okay. Another three cards, please. Victory and success. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. And you get a happy home at the very end. But let's find out what's going on. Within the next few months, you're going to be feeling defeated in conflict having conflict in some way with that five of pentacles so this is going to be going on for a little bit for aquarius but for everybody not just you so it's saying to let that go that five of pentacles remember what i said about that that's what that is you know feeling defeated actually it's like the five of swords in a way but to me i'm feeling the five of pentacles energy here you got to let something go you got to you can't let arguments and fights and worry getting your way because you're going to be doing this in the next few months and you need to let that go it's same to let it go okay um be assertive gain control go forward get your motivation back i see you can do that aquarius can do that even though you're having mental conflicts do not let it override you move forward okay don't let this get in your way you got people around you willing to help, and it's possibly a lover situation because I did see that you did have that in your last reading a lover situation. You had that Ace of Cups, you had uh, a very stable person willing to be there for you, so let them in. Don't push them away, don't be so worried that you shut yourself down, okay? Because if you do let these people help you, or this person, even possible lover, you will get victory and success in the end, okay? So everybody is going through this worry and these conflicts, but I'm seeing in the cards for just about everybody to keep on moving. Keep your, your situation going. Don't let things um, bring you down to where you can't, um, you know, get yourself out of it. Don't get yourself in that mindset where nothing will be, you know, positive. Because I can see that happening where Aquarius doesn't believe that anything positive will come. And it says it is. Balance is coming in your last reading. So let, let go of that conflict and defeat, especially in the next few months. You'll be feeling this, but it says to let it go. Be assertive. Move forward. Have passions. Let go of the mental conflicts. That's what it's saying, to let it go. And let people around you that want to help you, that I know is there, they're going to be there, that, and also they don't believe that... Um, Balance is coming, and if you do believe that, you let people that are that are positive in your life, that's going to bring stability, you will gain victory and success. So in the next few months, this person is going to be helping you. I see that all the way around. You take all these together. So in the next few months, you know, be assertive. Let this person in. Go forward again, and let this person help you, and you will gain success, even though all this yuck is going on around Aquarius and all the other signs, okay? So I'm going to let this go, and I will talk to you later. I will upload this soon. Bye.